have to say I'm a little disappointed that there was rust under the vise, but I kind of suspected there would be. I haven't seen anybody that's been using flood coolant remove their vise and not have a little bit of corrosion underneath, so I was expecting it. It is kind of funny that it doesn't do it except where the two metal surfaces contact. Um, I'm not sure what the cure for that is. I will say that before I installed this, I didn't put any kind of lubricant down, any kind of coating, so that was probably uh, not very smart on my part. However, I don't know that it would have made much of a difference. It's just light surface rust, but this is the first time I've removed this. Uh, since actually putting the mill in place and starting to run it which was wow I don't even really remember when that was um, last year sometime so it's probably a good six months that it's been I've been running flood cooling on it so I'm gonna pull pull these uh, strips out and check the grooves and see what those look like. Well, it's kind of funny. The only corrosion was actually where the two metal surfaces met. Um, none of my grooves. My hands are filthy here. Let's see. My pockets. Nothing's wrong with them. No rust. No rust in my groove. No rust in this pocket. This is actually some kind of primer. It was there when I got the machine. Just a spot of primer. No rust whatsoever. So, pretty pleased with the way these uh, little air hose. This is um, 3 8 inch airline. This is probably 40 year old airline that I got from my father-in-law. He had about a 6 inch strip for something. It was so hard, you can see. I mean, it just, I had to like squeeze it with pliers and hammer it to get it to go in there. But hey, it works fine. Now it's already kind of shaped, so it should go right back in pretty easy. I'm going to get these uh, bolts out of here and get everything cleaned up. I'm going to be doing some machining on uh, Chad's oil slots for his saddles. So I needed to remove the vise and I thought it would be a good opportunity to just kind of see and let you guys see um, what you can expect, I guess, from six or eight months of machining uh, using Cool Mist. This is a Cool Mist 77. I've been using and you can see I've got about less than a half gallon left I'm really happy with this um, it does leave uh, some stains on aluminum parts if you leave it on there so you gotta really be careful about that but I like it because it's environmentally friendly and to me that's pretty important I know other people are using um, different flood coolant so I'll probably try something else, but so far I'm happy with this. 
One thing I also noticed was during the winter, it, I seem to evaporate coolant fairly quickly. And every time, about every couple of days, I'd have to add a gallon of coolant. Um, but now, since it's summertime and I've got a little portable AC unit in here, I'm generating my own distilled water and I'm not using any. So it's not evaporating, I guess, because the room's temperature controlled, there's not as much evaporation going on. Just my luck. When you got plenty of distilled water, you don't need it, and when you need it, you don't have it. So I'll save up about five or six gallons and set it back for when I will use it this winter. So I'm going to get all these chips cleaned out. But I just thought I'd take a minute and shoot a quick video and just let you see what's happening up under the device. Uh, it came up pretty easy with a little WD-40 and a scotch bright. Gonna have to see if I can't find some kind of coating to put under here to help prevent that. Thanks for watching videos. If you have any questions, suggestions, please feel free to comment. Stop by and visit the website. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.